boys and girls. Welcome to Grand Rapids Area Library um, to the Grandma Nancy Art Program. We have a really fun activity today that I think you'll enjoy. So hopefully you've picked up your kit. If you haven't, um, if your grown up hasn't picked it up at the library yet, they can come down to the library and get the kit. So let's open it and see what we have. Oh, nice. All right. We have, oh my goodness, we have four sheets of black paper. And it's different than other paper. It's not like construction paper. It's called scratch art paper. And it has this nice black film on the top. It's thick. And you have four sheets of this. This is going to be really fun. You're going to be able to do some great art today with that. Then we have a wooden stick. It's pointy on one end and flat on the other end. This is called a stylus tool. It's a wooden stylus tool. It's going to be what we use to um, write and draw with today. It's very nice and a blank piece of paper uh, that we can put behind our work because it'll get a little bit messy and it'll be nice to work on a little mat. So you'll see how that goes. What we're going to do today is take our stylus tool and we're gonna remove the black, just like we're drawing. So you can see how I used my stylus tool and I removed the black. So it's almost the reverse of writing with a pencil. The pencil, you're making the mark on white paper. Here, you're using your stylus tool to remove the black off the paper. It's very really fun because this black is on top of different colors. This is called rainbow paper, these different colors. You can actually get this kind of um, scratch art paper and just have white behind there too. But I thought it would be really fun to have all the colors. It's magical because you don't really know. When you make a mark, you're not sure what color you're gonna get. So it's really, really fun. And I have some techniques that I'll show you um, when we, we get all ready. So here's a couple examples. I did a turtle and I also did an owl. So get your brains thinking and decide what you want to do. And I'll meet you back here in just a minute. All right, so um, hopefully you are set up with your paper. Notice that my paper is smaller. It's half of one of these holes. So if you wanna do a smaller one, um, you can have a grown-up cut it in half for you, but I have a feeling you, you have four sheets, so I think you'll probably want to do um, a full sheet. Think about what you want to do. You can do whatever you want. I like to do uh, things where I can do little different kinds of lines and shapes. So I just picked this turtle, and then in each one of the little shells, I made a different kind of a design. And that's really, it was really fun to do. Then I just made some circles down here. Things you could make, um, you can think of your own, obviously. Flowers are really fun to do. Uh, fish, an underwater scene is really fun to do. Um, planets, I've had kids make uh, planets, that's really fun to do. You could make a city, uh, a cityscape with buildings and houses and stars or a sun. Anything that you can think of that would be um, really fun to do. Before you make your picture, I'm going to show you just a couple of ways that you can do diff different techniques 
and just try it out. So you could do these if you want that I'm gonna do. Those swirly spiral things, uh, we've done those before. You're just going around and around like in a circle. And then I just brush the black off. The black's gonna come off your table. But look at how the fun colors are in there. And you could take something like this. You could turn it into uh, a sunshine just by making these little triangles. It could be a sunshine. I'm just going around and it, it's, it's so fun to see the colors that come up. So that could be a sunshine or you could turn that into a flower. And if you want, if you're looking at this as a flower, you want to have a, if you want to have a little more colors showing, you can do that by just, you take your tool and you just go across. Now, one thing I like to do, I don't take all the black off, I just take most of it off. And the reason I don't take all the black off is because I think that black gives it a little bit of texture. So it's up to you but just if you leave a little bit of black, I think it makes it look like a wood cut. And you might have seen those before. Um, artists do wood cuts. You might have seen those kind of things done in books. But it is fun to leave some black because you can see that has texture now, right? I might make some veins in my leaves. You know, whatever you want to uh, do. The other thing that I think is very fun to do, and I guess I did a couple of those on this owl, is I made stars. They are very fun to do. So when I make a star, you might have your own way to make a star, but this is how I do it. I start down, go up, down. It's like I'm making a triangle. But then I go back up that way, straight across, and then down. And you can see that didn't get quite enough. So I'm just gonna make that a little bit bigger. Then what I do is I get the black out. And again, I'm not gonna get it all out. I'm just gonna get enough out that I can see the colors there. And then we have a little bit of texture from that black that I left in there. So now I look at it and I'm like, okay, this one one, I can make it go up a little bit, okay? And I might wanna make this one a little bit wider here so you can play around with it, okay? Um, let's see, what else can you do? You can make fish. Fish are very fun because they have those great scales. What I'm doing right now is just showing you different things you can make and different techniques. So I'm not making an exact picture of a scene, but you certainly can do that. Make an eye on my fish. I wanna make some fins. So make a fin going like that. Get a little bit of that black out. And then I wanna make scales. You can make scales all kinds of different ways. I'm just gonna make these little humps. You could also make them like this where they're disconnected from each other. So all that builds texture. And I'm gonna to wanna to make some lines here. I like my little fish. 
I need some more scales right up here, I think. I'll just kind of look and decide what to do. And then of course he's in the ocean, so we're gonna make some seaweed. And the seaweed is blowing in the current. So it's not standing straight. It's just kind of blowing in the current, right? And if you want it thicker, you just go right over on the edge there, make it a little thicker. And then I'm gonna make some more coming off that because this is, you can hear that, can't you? So I hope you're starting. Now you start and decide what you wanna do. Just play around. The, your first one can be your practice one. So that might be on the bottom of the ocean. And then I'm gonna make waves. If you've ever made waves like this, I just kind of make them like I'm doing a cursive C over and over again. And I'm gonna make my, go right over the seaweed so it looks like the seaweed is sticking out. Not fun. Make some rocks on the bottom. You can make starfish, you can make seahorses, you could make a little turtle down here. It's gonna be at a different angle than the other turtle I made. Little feet, make a little tail. Make a little eye. Um, birds are also really fun, birds and feathers. Feathers are really fun to do. I'm just making these little lines like that. You can make a turkey with feathers in the back. You can make an owl and just make some feathers, right? They're kind of fun. Here I did the owl did his eyes. I think it's um, similar to an owl we've done before. Okay, so because you have four sheets, uh, you have some good exploration today to do uh, with your stylus tool. And you might not want to do all four in one sitting, but you know how to do it and you can just continue to do it. Your black stuff, it's gonna come off just Try not to get it too much on the floor because it'll make a little bit of a mess, but um, your grown-up can help you wipe that out. Okay, have a really good time. Experiment with your stylus tool and have fun doing that. All right, I hope you had a good time today and that you came up with some really fun things. These are all small that I did, but if you want, when you get to do um, yours, if you want to do one big thing and then add details, um, use your space. There's a lot of space and that's what it's meant to be um, decorated. So use all your black space, make designs all over, make it fun and uh, have a good time. I'll see you later. Thanks a lot.